G'day, g'day, I'm Chase or Blanger X, and today we're going to be reacting to The Egg, a short story by Kurz Kazak in a nutshell. Uh, we've been reacting to a lot of Kurz Kazak recently, and this video was actually suggested to me along with a bunch of other ones, and I've been scrolling through his channel, and I've found so many uh, videos that where the title intrigued me, and they sounded awesome. Uh, so I can't wait to react to those in the future, but I need to ask you guys a question that I would love if you would respond to in the comments, because I need to know. Do you want me to keep reacting to Kurtz Kazak's videos um, just one by one by one by one and keep rattling through them? Or do you would you prefer not to maybe get burnt out of the Kurtz Kazak's videos and then jump from maybe Kurtz Kazak to Internet Historian to then maybe Billy Sociable to then Kyle Hill and, and just do that? So would you prefer me keep doing what we're doing and just reacting to a bunch of Kurtz Kazak videos um, or jumping from one channel to another? Uh, as we go so we don't get burnt out and we don't get through them as fast up to you guys I don't mind I love Kurtz Gazak, but I also um, love all these other channels too so it is completely up to you guys to let me know your thoughts on that question in the comments below much appreciated I read every comment um, but yeah the egg a short story this was recommended to me I have no idea what it is about uh, presumably an egg um, but if you are new here hello my name is Chase Blanger X please consider subscribing joining that notification squad uh, so you uh, alerted whenever I post a new video and subscribe, uh, like, <laughs> comment, and <laughs> so, uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at chyznz. Join the Discord so you can interact with other people who watch the channel. I'm excited. Let's go. The Egg, a short story by Kurtz Gazak in a nutshell. You were on your way home when you died. What? It was a car I'm accident. <laughs> oh, Nothing unlucky. particularly remarkable but fatal nonetheless. Ah. It was a painless death. That's the cool. medics tried their best to save you, but to no avail. Your body was so utterly shattered, you oh. were better off, trust me. And that's when you met me. So I'm an egg. I <laughs> okay, I think I see where this is going. I'm an egg and I've just been smashed into pieces in a car accident. Unlucky. I never really had a chance though, did I? I had this <laughs> polystyrene little container and all my brothers were shattered and roasted and nah never had a chance never stood a chance what happened where am i you died i said matter of factly no point in mincing words there was there was a truck and it was skidding yes i i died yes yes but don't feel bad about it Everyone dies. It's true. We looked around. There was nothingness. Just you and me. Deep. What is this place? Heaven? Hell? Is this Egg the heaven? afterlife? <laughs> More or less. Are you God? <laughs> this, is, this is very comedic so far. He's kind of having like internal conflict. He doesn't even know who he's talking to. He's just, he's passed through into Egg Heaven. Yes, I'm God. All oh, right. My kids. My wife. What about them? Will they be all right? That's what I like to see, I said. You just died and your main concern is for your family. That's good, good stuff right there. <laughs> just hope there's no, there's no spatulas or, or ovens nearby and your family should be fine. You looked at me with fascination. To you, I didn't look like God. I just looked like some man, or possibly a woman. Some vague God authority is. figure, maybe. Don't worry, I said. They'll be fine. Your kids will remember you as perfect in every way. They didn't have time to grow contemptuous of you. Your wife will cry on the outside, but will be secretly relieved. Oof, rough. To be fair, your <laughs> marriage was falling apart. Unlucky. If it's any consolation, She'll feel very guilty for feeling relieved. Oh, I mean, so what happens now? Do I go to heaven or hell or something? Neither. You'll be reincarnated. Oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> ah. As what? Oh, maybe he was a real per. Again, I can't react visually to this, so maybe he was a person. And he's about to be reincarnated as an egg. Mm. So the Hindus were right. All I was just about to say that. I didn't remember which religion believed in uh, reincarnation. Again, <laughs> I know this is kind of off topic, but what do you guys think when you die? Uh, do you think it's just black and we become worm food? 
What do you think? Do we go to heaven or hell? I mean, it really depends on your religion. Personally, I am not religious. I don't really know if I'm atheist or agnostic. Um, but, you know, I don't really follow any specific religion. Right in their own way, walk with me. You followed along as we strode through the void. Where are we going? Nowhere in particular. It's is... just nice to walk while we talk. Oh, this is like weirdly wholesome and emotional. And again, beautifully presented. And again, Chris Kazak never disappoints. I've only seen four videos, five, whatever we've reacted to of his. Um, and never disappoints. Just beautifully made. So, what's the point then? When I get reborn, I'll just be a blank slate, right? A mm. baby. So, all my experiences and everything, everything I did in this life, won't matter. Not so. That's, that's, that's weird to think about. You have within you all the knowledge and experiences of all your past lives. You just don't remember them right now. I stopped walking and took you by the shoulders. Your soul is more magnificent, beautiful and gigantic than you can possibly imagine. That's actually a theory that a lot of people believe in, that our lives aren't one and one and done. We, I've heard this theory before and it's, it's, it's weird, so, and it, it makes you think a lot, so, so strap in. Um, you have your soul and you have certain lives, so me, for example, I'm blind, so maybe I've been put on this earth to struggle through uh, having blindness and then in my next life I'll have something else and then you have all these different experiences and things go wrong uh, in each of your lives and then you at the end in your last life nothing is you you, you have a really great life you have uh, everything you ever wanted and it's kind of you've gone through all the stages of having uh, I guess handicaps uh, in your life and kicking you down until it's just infinite bliss it's a weird theory, and again, let me know what you guys think, um, but it, it's a weird thing to think about, and I still don't know what this video is. <laughs> I really don't. A human mind can only contain a tiny fraction of what you are. It's like sticking your finger in a glass of water to see if it's hot or cold. You put a tiny part of yourself into the vessel, and when you bring it back out, you've gained all the experiences it had. Ooh, You've been in a human enough. for the last 48 years, so you haven't- Ouch, only 48, that's rough. ...stretched out yet and felt the rest of your immense consciousness. Already like a third of that. If we hung out here for long enough, you'd start remembering everything. But there's no point to doing that between each life. How many times have I been reincarnated then? Oh, lots. Lots and lots. And into lots of different lives. This time around, you'll be a Chinese peasant girl in 540 AD. Oh. Wait, what? You're sending me back in time? Well, I guess technically, time as you know it only exists in your oh. universe. Oh, this is freaking me out. He's right. Time is only experienced through each individual. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, you can be put anywhere at any time. Man, this is really taking me back and making me th question my existence. Let me know if you feel the same. Things are different where I come from. Where... where you come from? Oh, where, sure. Where do you I come, come from, from somewhere, <laughs> somewhere else. And there are others like me. I know you'll want to know what it's like there, but honestly, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> oh, you said, a little let down. But wait, if I get reincarnated to other places in time, I could have interacted with myself at some point. Ugh. Sure, happens all the time. <laughs> and with both lives only aware of their own lifespan, you don't even know it's happening. Okay, this is like, <laughs> this is really messing with me. I'm getting like a migraine. Oh, I mean, he's being he's been pretty unlucky being a Chinese peasant in 1540 AD. Uh, sorry, 540 AD. That'd be a, that'd be unlucky to be reborn as. So, what's the point of it all? I looked you in the eye. The meaning of life, the reason I made this whole universe, is for you to mature. There you go. And that was, that kind of ties in with the theory I presented is like, 
you have all these challenges and you know you, he could have been reborn as a chinese peasant in 15 uh, 540 ad or he could have been reborn as a very noble royal king or queen or prince in 2690 you know so it's maybe in that last life or the one where he's matured and learnt all these all the lessons that uh god or whoever you know uh, whose infinite wisdom is behind all of this uh then he can finally live peacefully in bliss with no struggle but life is a struggle man um but yeah this is really taking me back and making me think weirdly you mean mankind you want us to mature no just you i Oof. made this whole universe for you with each new life you grow and mature and become a larger and greater intellect there you go exactly what just I said. me what about everyone else Going through the there is thing. no one else oh, in this universe no. There's just you and me. Oh, bro. Oh, it's so eerie, man. I don't know. This is making me really question everything I know or everything I thought I know. Because when you think about it, he's right. Everyone else is an NPC, a non-playable character. Everyone's just a, a bot in a game. You, you're not living through them. You are not them, so you don't know what it's like to live through them. And that is so weird to think about in the sense that we only know our own consciousness. So everyone else is just a bot, an NPC that is just moving around with us. And we are the only people in the universe. Us and whoever created us. Not in the sense of our parents, but God. Ugh, right, we're getting too deep. I didn't realize The Egg, a short story, would be a bloody mind trip down <laughs> down some cr like hippy-dippy lane. You stared blankly at me. Oh, man. But all the people on Earth. All you different incarnations of you wait ah. i'm oh he's saying all the npcs are just me in different lives bro nah this is mm. <sighs> oh, take a deep breath <laughs> everyone now you're guessing it i'm every human being who ever lived damn so i was napoleon and caesar and alexander the great and hitler and stalin and trump <laughs> oh man this this doesn't seem real this, i don't know i know this is a story but i want to mm, just keep playing chase will ever live yes i'm abraham lincoln and you're john wilkes booth too i'm a hitler you yeah. said appalled and you're the millions he killed i'm jesus and you're everyone who followed him you fell silent yeah, you're uh, Lee Harvey Oswald and John F. Kennedy. Mm, freaky to think about, bro. Every time you victimise someone, you were victimising yourself. Every but think about that, because you think that everyone else is experiencing what this guy's experiencing, and you... So the, the other NPCs, so say your mum or your brother or your neighbour, are all experiencing the same thing, but they're you. So everyone is everyone, in a sense, or everyone is you because you're the only person experiencing your consciousness this is messing with my head bro my my brain's gonna be a bloody mashed potato at the end of this video every act of kindness you've done you've done to yourself every happy and sad moment ever experienced by any human was or will be like almost experienced shaking. by you <laughs> uh. you thought for a long time why why do why do all this <laughs> Because someday you will become like me. Because that's what you are. You're one of my kind. You're my child. Wow, you said incredulous. You mean, I'm a god? <laughs> no, not yet. You're a fetus. You're still growing. Once you've lived... Oh, the egg. As in... Okay, this all makes sense now. I'm an actual... I'm a Neanderthal chimp. Oh, the egg as in what is impregnated. As in fetus. Okay. I literally thought of it as like what you make your morning omelette with. God, I'm so stupid. Okay, I got you. If every human life throughout all time, you will have grown enough to be born. So the whole universe, it's just... <laughs> I can't believe. I was just like, oh, the egg, a short story. Oh, 
make sure there's no pans nearby, but like, bro, how did I not see this coming? Maybe because I'm blind. <laughs> An egg, I answered. <laughs> now it's time for you to move on to your next life. And I sent you on your way. <laughs> Shows you how much I, I thought into this. Oh, man. <laughs> this has been a roller coaster. <laughs> Well, I guess that's it then. <laughs> that was The Egg, a short story by Kuchsgesagt in a nutshell. Or an egg shell, I should say. <laughs> that actually blew my goddamn mind. I, I have <laughs> never seen that before and that... I don't even know what to say. I am shocked. I, I literally thought of it as an egg and someone, something that a 13 year old wrote. Uh, for an essay or something i i am taken aback uh let me know your thoughts about this video and how i reacted in the comment section below and obviously answer that question uh at the beginning of the video but thank you very much for watching i am in almost shock this is really weird that was the egg a short story by kurtz Kazakt in a nutshell thank you very much for watching follow me on instagram and twitter at chyznz and join the discord all links to my social media in the description I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a breather after this. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>